Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Deus Ex Human Revolution, gameplay dash walkthrough uh, by me, Mr. Emerson 5. This is part something, I don't know really, I've lost track already. We're still on the first mission, like four or five now, it should be part four or five. And yeah, we've been working away from the factory. Um, yeah, basically that's all we've been doing, and we've been heading towards this X here. Um, and we're about to go through the door, so let's carry on the story. Don't lie to me! I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. You didn't want to hurt me. You should have stayed home tonight. Oh, no! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in. He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same. You're going to have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factory labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hatware. Nice try, Turtle. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! I'm off, Lantern. I've got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying the name of you here, but I gotta, I gotta take things up. So, me and Aguera, we're leaving. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser! I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead! Oh shit, you're better than that, you don't kill civilians. Damn right! I'm a decorated vet, and I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady's my only ticket out. Listen to me, whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. Now who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? You're doing better than you think. You're still standing, and that's more than the hacker was expecting. You said you're a pet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. <laughs> you got a good point there, but still. I've got to exploit my advantage, and as long as I hold on to this lady here, you and the cops will be way too scared to come near me. Face it. You've got to maneuver. The cops will be looking after civilians. They're too busy to worry about you. But if something happens to her, you will get their attention. Their priorities will shift, and all you'll accomplish is getting yourself killed. I know all that, damn it. One of your kind took my brother to manipulate me, and I have to make sure that they get what all kind openers deserve. I'm not wasting any more of my time arguing with you. Out of my way, freak. You've got more honor than a man who betrayed you. You're not going to let you put an account like this. The hacker was expecting civilians to be in the building tonight. You were supposed to take hostages and force the cops to silence you permanently. But you're smarter than he is. Oh, it's so obvious. Can't believe I didn't see it till now. He thinks he can just lead me to my death? Think again, Cameroon. Get out of here. I did what you want. So let me go. I got Blade here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cameroon. Yeah, well. Maybe I'll win. But I promise you this, someone's going to pay. I'm going to keep looking until I find you. Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Be Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. Nice. We leveled up, guys. Um, 
I'm probably going to upgrade my battery and to recharge quicker. I want to actually be able to. Uh, there we go. I want to be able to do takedowns more quickly. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen, and not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No, they pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan, what are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired, she said the papers were lying about Mexican town, that you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is by command. Climb in. Okay, everyone, that was the first proper full on mission for Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Um, yeah, it's worth noting, I'm playing on Director's Cut, so it means that the story's going to be a lot longer and a lot better than the original, to be honest, I think. It will flow much better than it has so far, so um, let's see how this carries on, yeah? Coolio. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen, I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? I'm not going to lie and say they didn't come in handy back there. But like you said, I didn't choose to get augmented. So it'll take some getting used to. I get it. But don't be surprised if the boss keeps pushing you to get more. Why? What do you mean? You know how he is. He thinks augmentations are the be-all, end-all of everything. And he can't understand why someone wouldn't want to become more than human. Maybe he used to say the same thing. I'm not surprised. The research she was doing was pretty damn inspired. Might have convinced a lot more people to give what we make here a try. If that bastard hadn't killed her. Listen, Jensen. I know you want to find the men who attacked us, and so do I. If I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've gotta get the typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. Okay, so we're back in Detroit. Should be a familiar environment. I think it's environment. disgusting how public opinion is terrible. I don't buy for a second you was with Puri at first. Well, well, if it isn't Attila the Hun, fresh from the killing fields. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and scuzzy adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you will get along better that way. Okay, everyone, um, that'll be the end of this part. In the next part, we will carry on to Sarah. See you in a minute.